Trump is hinting that some cabinet and staffing appointments could soon be announced. He took to Twitter this morning writing, quote, Busy day plan the New York will soon be making some very important decisions on the people who will be running our government. That comes after a day in which the president-elect met President Obama for the first time ever. The current president said he's rooting for Trump to succeed, while Trump said he's looking forward to his predecessor's counsel moving forward. Jake Sherman is a senior writer for Politico and co-author of the Politico Playbook, and he joins us now to discuss all things politics. And Jake, our Major Garrett has been following Donald Trump since the very beginning of his campaign, and he told us earlier that he certainly sensed a different tone from the president-elect in the Oval Office yesterday. Was that your takeaway as well? Yeah, I think uh, Donald Trump is now um, uh, coming to the realization that he's going to be president of the United States. And uh, that's a far different position than campaigner. Uh, uh, he's beginning to build out a government, which includes thousands and thousands of people. Um, and and it, like this, this can't be said enough. Donald Trump has never been in government, has never been elected to anything. So he's coming at this kind of with fresh eyes and with... Um, uh, uh, really no experience in, in, in building out this massive infrastructure. So I think he's almost uh, taken aback a little bit, it seems, by what he has to do and by everything he has to accomplish in the next 70-something days. You've also been following Speaker Paul Ryan closely on Capitol Hill, actually for years. So uh, what can you tell us about the meeting that he had yesterday with Trump? So uh, I was in Wisconsin with Paul Ryan for the last uh, a couple days at, on Election Day and before. And uh, I think that Donald Trump and Paul Ryan are going to uh, kind of rise together. They, they were obviously rivals for many uh, months. Trump and Ryan did not get along. Ryan did not like him. But now uh, Trump needs somebody on Capitol Hill who knows how to get things done. And, and Ryan is that person. Ryan has been on Capitol Hill for, all, you know, 15 years, 16 years, and knows how the institution works. So that he could be a useful ally for Trump. I mean, they are really beginning to, to get together and put their minds together on what the first 100 days are going to look like. What is What are they going to do in January, February, March? I mean, these are things that Trump has never really thought about in a practical way that now they need to be able to put a little bit, some meat on the bones. And, and I think that you're going to see that happening over the next couple weeks. Jake, in terms of cabinet staffing, uh, and we've read that tweet from Donald Trump earlier hinting that uh, he is going to be making decisions very, very soon about the cabinet. What are you hearing about that timeline? I think he's going to announce things in the next couple uh, uh, days, weeks, and obviously months. Uh, but if you look at the people who his camp, who his transition effort now, not a campaign, uh, are beginning to float, uh, these are kind of standard fare Republicans. Jamie Dimon at J.P. Morgan, um, Jeb Hensarling, the congressman from Texas to serve as, as Treasury Secretary, uh, uh, and Mike McCall to serve as Homeland Security Secretary. These aren't out-of-the-box picks. These are actually pretty standard Republican picks for a Republican president-elect. So I think you're, be, you're beginning to see Trump almost normalize, in a sense, toward the kind of standards and, and normal uh, uh, practices of Washington. Do you think there will be some challenges, though, that he faces moving forward? There were an awful lot of uh, Republicans and other people in Washington who opposed him very strongly, uh, wrote letters <laughs> signing their names, saying they were, you know, he would, he would not make a good president. Do you think after a while, there are a lot of positions to fill, it's going to be tough to find the right people? I don't think so. I think uh, winning begins to uh, solve all of those problems and raw feelings. I think that's a reality that Trump is going to, uh, and the Republican Party is going to face pretty shortly. I, I think that people feel a duty to their country, even if they don't like Trump and they don't love Trump. And I think you're going to see a lot of the people who are pretty critical of him uh, find spots in the administration, either high or low. But I think I'm hearing that already in D.C. Republicans say, listen, this guy's our president. We're Republicans. We're Americans. We need to help him out. All right. Politico's Jake Sherman. Always good talking to you, man. Appreciate the time. Thank you.